purple, the bottom of my heart was static. Bro, I've said the story a hundred times. But the source and and the, the pressure I apply gets the guts watery. I'm demonstrating high value. I'm comfortable in my skin. I make her qualify. Ask me. You wanna you wanna talk about talk about it? Ask me. Be brave, bro. Never get scared to rock the boat. Never. Every now and again, the nice guy gets the abuse. Nobody wants to be the nice guy. However, I'm going to give you some game. Some nice guy traits that actually help you with women. Now, in this video, I'm probably going to use the terms hot and cold. Hot being the nice guy and cold being the bad guy. All right? Stay with me, man. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to talk about the opposite characteristics that just maybe you might want to think about. Like, share, comment, subscribe, bro, because we are... <sighs> welcome, welcome. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, I appreciate your support as always. Boys, drop me a like, drop me an emoji in the comments. It takes one second, it helps the channel grow. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate it. Okay, this video is based on guys that I've coached in set, basically, bro. So, a lot of people that have been out with me ask, why, why do I like the sniper role? Now, I like the sniper role. Basically, the sniper role is the guy that stands on the wall on the perimeters in a, in a nightclub and i use the term downloading data downloading data is basically me doing research market research live infield as you guys call it research basically where do guys go wrong why girls shut certain guys down in clubs how to navigate the minefield the dance floor basically and just night game in general okay so we talk about elements and we talk about traits that bad guys have and nice guys have, okay? Now, disclaimer, why do women like bad guys? Are bad guys really as bad as what people think they are? The answer is no. The, issue, the, the, the main difference is bad guys respect themselves, nice guys don't. That's what it comes down to. The bad guy still knows how to treat the woman he still respects her and he's still nice to her. It's just that he respects himself more and he will never prioritize the woman because he knows the woman is disposable at the end of the day. There are billions of them. The nice guy doesn't see it like that. The nice guy says, I love her. I'm going to put her on a pedestal. I'm going to do everything I can to keep her. He'll make God. He will smother her with attention and validation and he will lose her. And then he wonders why. The nice guy thinks more wins in this game of love and romance. The bad guy knows that less wins in this game of love and romance. And those are the two very big differences. Now, you can be the bad guy who's extremely loud or the bad guy who loves to bust jokes. However, you need to know how to switch it off. But there's times in a date where you need to be serious. We need to be cool, calm, sexy, suave, bro. And that's not you busting jokes, bro. Seductive stage, you're not you're not really busting jokes. Attraction stage, you're teasing her. That there the humor comes. Comfort stage, you might do a little bit of both. You might play it calm, or you might be a bit more forward with it. But the key is to make her feel comfortable. Okay? So just having the right balance. So obviously in this video, I'm gonna talk about two contrasting elements, bro, and how you can use both of them to your advantage and ultimately make women super attracted to you. That's what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. So, hot elements. So nice guy elements include vulnerability, um, being open. So I'm talking about things like maybe something happened at work that you, you got upset about and you shared that with her. Another aspect could be maybe me talking about my eyes on a date when they ask why do I wear yellow glasses? Things like that. Now, the first one, 
I wouldn't recommend doing it. However, if you can share something that comes across, listen to what I'm saying, that comes across like you're an open book, then it will help you make her feel comfortable. Because if you can share something about you, bro, she's going to share something about her. And that's all I'm saying. I didn't say simp, bro. I didn't say get emotionally unstable. What, what I'm saying, bro, if you can say something like, okay, give an example that I would use. How come you wear, how come you wear yellow glasses? Ask me. Ask me. You're looking, ask me. Or are you going to do what everyone else does and just stare? I know you're attracted to me, but ask me if you want to ask me. What are they? Are they? Are they? Are they for fashion or do you think they're for fashion? Okay, so then ask me. Applied pressure, put pressure, 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 bro. Obviously, I'm gonna tell the story. Yeah, I had a, I had a football injury when I used to play football in the academy. Long story short, I woke up, the top half of my eye was purple, the bottom of my heart was static. Bro, I've said the story a hundred times. But the source and and the, the pressure I apply gets the guts watery. I'm demonstrating high value. I'm comfortable in my skin. I make her qualify. Ask me. You wanna you wanna talk about talk about it? Ask me. Be brave, bro. Never get scared to rock the boat. Never. Remember, when you, you're open to sharing something about you, I'm doing this because the real Donnie is not what I'm saying. Yeah? When you're open and you're honest, she's going to feel comfortable. She's going to be like, oh, this guy's this guy trustworthy. This guy is, oh, I didn't expect that from him. Oh, may, mm, maybe I should tell him something. So just going to ask a bit more questions in her brain. Another example where you could show vulnerability is maybe you talk about your ex or how that ended, bro. Or you could say something like, I never grew up with my dad. Short, sweet, keep it moving, okay? I'm just talking about, I'm not saying, I'm going to give you the balance, bro. I don't need to simp, but what I'm saying to you is you can use these nice guy traits to your advantage, okay? Okay, bro, the second element or the second hot element that you could use to your advantage, bro, is saying something or creating like an inside joke with her okay so something i use normally is do you ever watch people and think or do you ever watch other people on their dates and think what's going on with them yeah okay let's play what, what do you think's going on are they married are they single first date second date like us think about it humor okay the key is as well when you can create like an inside joke between just the two of you on the date, bro, you know the next time you see her, you can pull back to that, okay? She's always gonna remember that and she's always gonna associate that with you. Think about it, bro. This is high level stuff that I'm giving you, man. But as well, another way to build connection, I spoke about this in my basics videos, bro. Give her a nickname. Give her something that she's gonna remember you by. Remember, if she can feel comfortable, bro, and you can give her, you can you can get that connection, bro. You're gonna stand out from all the other guys, bro. She's gonna think about you, hundred percent. Another third element is giving her that familiarity. Listen to what I'm saying very carefully. Use words like we. Use words like us. When uh, a lot of the guys that I coach, I tell them to to use the opener, like how hey, how have you been? It breeds. Even though you don't know the girl, bro, something in her brain. But does he know me? Does he not know me? What? Why has he said, how have you been? Perfect question. Hey, how have you been? You don't know her, bro, but you come across like you know her. Element four, be a gentleman. Element five, talk about future plans. Now, being a gentleman, so little things like pulling out of the chair, bro, um, opening the door for uh, little things like that they go a long way it's not simping it's being a gentleman it's playing your role then you've got the element of doing things together in the future does she like traveling maybe you'll travel together maybe she likes going to food places that you like you can do that together this is how you like preempt the second date the third date the fourth date okay next time we'll go here 
Okay, next time you plan it. Okay, next time I'll have a cooking date. Some of you, you, you think, you don't have to. I know some TV programs, especially first dates, people always, you, you put too much pressure on it, okay? You don't have to lock in the second date on the date, bro. But you will have a very good indication as to whether that girl wants to see you again or not. And if, you're, if you think 50-50, bro, then you've lost. And then you probably didn't have a good date, in your opinion, okay? And in my opinion, you should know 100% whether that girl wants to see you again. As well, do you even pour water on the table, bro? You know when you order the, the customary tap water? I don't really waste money on bottled water, man. It pisses me off the fact that it's so expensive. Give me tap water. I might buy one for decoration, which pisses me off, but then just give me tap water, bro. Thank you. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is even pouring her glass of water when hers is low, it goes a long way, bro. It shows you're attentive. Even though I'm checking out the waitress at the same time. Don't judge me, bro. You gotta be rain professional. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, bro. I might make a part two on this because I got that. We've only talking about the hot. We've only spoken about the hot elements. All right, man. I'll do a part two. See you guys in the next one, man. Keep learning, keep growing, keep leveling up. Smash the like button, bro. It takes one second, helps me out with the channel.